Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Welcome back to the channel. I have a question. Have you ever felt that somebody at work is out to get you? I'm not talking about the annoying people who steal your lunch. I mean somebody who seems hell-bent on a mission to see you fail. Today we're going to dive in to the world of office enemies and really how to deal with them. And believe me, this isn't going to be your typical just be nice advice. We're going to explore some of the next level strategies that might surprise you. So let's get started. Let's get into it. Let's get after it. The first part we need to establish is we need to clarify what we mean by an office enemy. This just isn't somebody who's toxic or plays power moves. An enemy is someone who has specifically targeted you. They want to harm you, your reputation, they want to lower your status, or even get you fired. So you have to recognize when you're dealing with an enemy, not just a difficult, pain in the ass colleague. Now let's talk about some of the strategies that you need to implement in order to squash this. The very first one, you probably heard the Godfather say it, keep them close. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I try to use his voice sometimes and it's a catchy phrase, but it's absolutely fucking lutely true. By keeping them as close to you as possible, you limit their ability to maneuver and work against you. It also fucks with their head quite a bit. Imagine their surprise when you sit right next to them in the meeting. They're thinking, this person knows I'm out to get them. Why is he sitting right next to me? That's a psyops game that you can play on this office enemy. You gotta remember, most office enemies, most of these enemies, they're beta males trying to become, trying to pretend that they're alpha males. A true alpha male isn't going to be an enemy to anybody. They're set on their purpose, they're set on their mission. You need to become and take the alpha male role. And nothing is more alpha male than when you know this person is out to destroy you, that you sit right next to that fucker. And another thing you can do is once you sit down, you look at them and smile and be like, oh, there you are. It fucks with their mind more as if you're looking for them. It sends a powerful message to them that you're just not afraid of them. This approach alone, a lot of the times, will make them stop their bullshit behavior. And if it doesn't, don't worry, I'm going to give you some other power dynamic tools, frame control techniques you can do. And the second one that you can implement is compliment them publicly. Now I know you're thinking like, Jared, that's a nice thing to do. Stay with me. This is another powerful mind psyops fuckery that you're going to, you're going to put into their head. If your enemy is trying to undermine you, you want to respond with a positive comment about them. Something like, Hey Tom, I appreciate how much you care about this project or Thanks for sharing your experience on this matter. It shows others that you're not the problem and it makes it clear that any issues aren't personal on your end. Let's move on to strategy number three. And it piggybacks in number two. It's about being positive. You want to thank them for any criticism they have of you. When somebody criticizes you, Especially if this person knows way more about you in your in industry and if it's valid, you don't want to push back immediately on it. It's going to actually make you look like a fool. Instead, say something like, man, thank you for your opinion. I'll need some time to think about this and let me get back to you. This response makes you look professional and open-minded. There's also a slight undertone here that you're basically saying, hey man, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And so it sort of undermines their criticism and also it's another low vibrational energy mindfuck that you're given to them because they don't know how to respond. You were positive, you said, thanks man, let me think about this, let me get back to you. They want you 
to get defensive. They want to see you get riled up. They want to see you get pissed off because that feeds into their own ego. So don't feed them. Just stay positive. Like, cool, man. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from. I appreciate it. Let me get back to you. Now, let's talk another strategy, but we need to talk about allies because oftentimes what happens is when you're feeling threatened, you it's human nature to try to find allies, but don't do this. Resist this urge. When you try to recruit people to your side, when you're the one who's under attack, it makes you look desperate. Instead, what you want to focus on is to get people to want to come to your side naturally. So you don't want to go up to your group of guys, your group of colleagues and be like, hey man, Tom is out to get me. I need, I need your back on this. He is just out to get me. Everything I do is wrong. I know he's pining to try to get me fired. I need, I need your help on this. It makes you look desperate, right? But if you flip it and you look confident, you look like Tom doesn't fucking bother you at all, that you're in control. If you act like you're already won this battle, people are drawn to somebody who's a winner. They're drawn to that winner's mindset. So naturally, they're going to maybe not come to your defense but they're going to kind of stay neutral and they're certainly not going to go over to his side. Another really good strategy to use, if these strategies aren't working, try this one. Chances are if you've done a couple of these, this beta male is going to tap out and he is not going to be messing with you again. So I say good guys a lot. This is a guy's channel. But if your boss is a woman or you have somebody who's a woman in your organization who is out to get you, do these same strategies. Chances are nobody likes this bitch either. So you already got more friends and colleagues than you think you do. But the next powerful strategy, let the war itself take the toll on your enemies and not you. Don't give them the satisfaction of seeing you upset, seeing you stressed, seeing you not being positive, seeing you not being focused on your work. Just keep up an upbeat attitude. Do your work to the best of your abilities and keep a positive mental attitude about you, especially around everybody else. The calmer you stay will drive these this person absolutely crazy and make other people feel more likely to support you. Now the next one, this one is, this one is advanced level fuckery. Mark their territory. I didn't say mark your territory. It makes no sense to piss on your own desk. Let the bottom feeders play that game. You're going to play an advanced elite level game right now and you're going to mark their ter territory. The best way to mark their territory is with their alliances. So you don't want to alienate or avoid their friends or allies. Remember, this person is your enemy. His co-workers or his allies or friends are not your enemy. So what's a massive psyops you can do? Chat up a conversation with his friends and allies. Make social talk with them. Tell them a joke. See if they need help with anything, you know, just be of service to them. By doing this, you're actually isolating the enemy and you can even turn their allies against them. It's a brutal fucking display of social power that your enemy will not expect. And then finally, my friends, if all else fails, you need to take decisive action you need to go for the jugular. You need to cut their throat figuratively, you psychos. I'm not talking about murdering anybody. But the end goal for you is to end this conflict swift, fast, and in a hurry, and decisively. And you can do it in the following ways. The very first way you do this is you isolate them so well that they become completely powerless and they stop bothering you. You beat them 
so badly that they changed departments and quit. Again, most of these people that play power trips or who are actually your enemy and they're looking to get you fail, their whole life is a complete train wreck and they only feel powerful at work. So if you implement these power moves, most of the time they're gonna fold like a wet blanket and they'll probably leave the department, they'll probably quit, they'll, they'll, they'll do something else, but they know that you're not the one to fuck with. The third thing you can do is, and, and I advocate for this one the most, you move so far ahead of them, they become a distant memory. And obviously the fourth one, you get that promotion and you fire their fucking ass. I like that one too. But the best solution is you advance so far in your career, you kind of forget about them. And actually, to be fair, they're probably going to forget about you too. But the ultimate goal is to always keep moving forward in your career and never let these frenemies or these, these enemies come at you and never think that you have to now create this win-win relationship. <clears throat> They're out to get you and the best power move you can make are these, these types of scenarios that I gave you. The best power moves you can make is to keep moving forward. Let them know you're not scared of them and start mind-fucking them. That's all I have on this, folks. Strategies for dealing with office enemies that go beyond the usual advice you get. We're giving you cutthroat advice because this is a cutthroat world and I wanna see you guys win. These tactics I gave you are not meant to be mean and vengeful. They're just about protecting yourself and your career in a smart, strategic way. Have you ever dealt with an office enemy? How did you handle it? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your story. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. If you guys need more support on power dynamics, social dynamics, frame control, click on the link below to our private membership program where you can apply to one of our programs where you can learn all about how to create win-win relationships and how to protect yourself from power moves where a win-win relationship is not possible so you must go on the offensive. We also have the next link below is our private membership inside that community. We have videos never published before, essays, tests, quizzes, a whole bunch of amazing stuff and you get it to be around other men who are learning power dynamics, who are learning social dynamics, learning frame control so that they can level themselves up. With that, my name is Jared Schumacher. This is Magnetic Men's Club, and we will talk soon.